All right, hey, what's up guys? This is Preston from the PGK Railway coming at y'all with another video. Um, so the restoration process has finally taken up. We've just done the traditional kind of get a toothbrush, some hot water and some Dawn dish soap to gently clean out. So now we have a 6015 tank car. The frame is extremely rusted, like extremely. It's missing some couplers, but what we're gonna do is I was told to get some Avapo rust. Did a lot of research, turns out it's actually really hard to find where I live. So um, if you guys do end up using this and wanna get a Avapo rust, make sure you call ahead. We tried three or four different stores. Everyone was out of it or they did not carry it anymore. But so what we're gonna do is we're gonna film it and I'll do a little time lapse just to show you what it does. But I'm gonna try to keep you guys informed as much as I can. And we're gonna jump right on in and we're gonna dunk this uh, tank car frame and solution. We'll see what happens. All right, so we've already started pouring the vapor rust. This is what the canister looks like, just so you guys know. Um, I'm gonna finish topping her off just a little bit more. It does say when you use this stuff to make sure that um, you have a lid because it will evaporate. So that should be about uh, enough. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a really roached frame, give you guys a better look at it. Yeah, this, this frame is really rough, especially these wheels. They really don't want to turn. So now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna drop it all in. We're gonna let it sit and we will throw the lid on. I know this isn't a super uh, see-through bin, but we just did what we could with what we had. And so I'll try to get a little time-lapse of it working its magic. All right, so we're about 10 minutes into it soaking in the evapor rust, and what we're gonna do is we're going to check it. So let's see what we got. Ooh, a lot of that rust looks like it's getting ready, or it's already starting to come up actually quite well. So we'll let it sit for a little bit longer and then we'll uh, take another look at it. All right guys, so we are about 40 minutes into letting it sit, so let's take her out and give her a look. Holy cow, those truck side frames are nice. This is only 40 minutes of sitting. Most of the rust is gone. Let's try to wipe some of this, uh, some of the heavier set rust. So yeah, it's coming off. Actually, this stuff works really, really well. So I think we'll let it sit for about another 20-ish minutes maybe, and then we'll do another little update, but I'm, I'm speechless. That's actually crazy. All right, guys, so it's been probably about two hours. We just decided to let it sit to get all the heavy rust off. So now we're gonna crack her open and we're gonna see, oh my goodness. You can already see that it's starting to look really, really good. A little bit of the heavier rust is left. But for now, this will work. This will be one of the cars that I let sit. Um, I let it sit and soak overnight, but the difference, all the rust is gone. Yeah, it took up a little bit of the paint, but that's really not my primary concern because these are all just pure restoration projects. This wheel will need a little bit more work, unless I can wipe most of that off. No, that wheel will need to soak a little bit longer, but um, for my first time ever using this stuff, all I can say is this is a miracle worker because I thought that this car was completely roached, but the frame actually turned out really, really nicely. It's awesome. All right, guys, so the next ones we're going to do is we're going to do a Sunoco tank car. I believe it's a 2465. Yes. So this one's pretty roached all the way through, so we're just going to dunk her in. And then we have um, a really bent frame for the one of the plug door Baby Ruth cars, in the later version. So what we're going to do, we're going to let these soak. Um, the Baby Ruth car does have an exploded end on it, so it may not be salvageable, but I may just steal these trucks from this, honestly, in case if another car needs them. Just have some donor trucks. Nothing wrong with having parts, but we're going to uh, set these in the stripper, and then we will uh, show you what happens. So 
We just dropped them in there. It is now 1.15 and I'll let you know what time we pull them out and we will see how they look. All right, we are back. Um, we're getting ready to take these out. Now I will say I decided to throw the uh, yellow tank cars frame back in to try to get a little bit more off of the, uh, a little bit of the rust off of the wheels. So this is a finished product. Lost a little bit more paint, but that's just because there was rust that I didn't get. Overall, looking a lot better. Um, let's check out that wheel. Which one was it? This one better um this one i may have to dremel but other than that i mean this stuff's literally a miracle product all right so that's the first one let me move the uh parts for the turbine out of the way real fast next up i believe this is the one that goes to the baby ruth box car that was really really busted and bent yes it is this one was completely oh oh there goes the paint on that one let me try to get a little bit more of that off. But uh, this one was rusted all the way through. Looking a lot better. A little bit of heavy rust on there, but still looks infinitely better in my opinion. More paint's coming off, sorry. But yeah, these look a lot better. So now I guess uh, if you guys have any recommendations for a good primer, please let me know. Because that's going to be the next step, is getting a primer and then painting these cars. So, uh, this is the 20, let's see, 2465 tanker. Still kept the uh, rubber stamping on it. A little bit fragile right now, but considering these have been in here for five or six hours now, a lot better. The wheels didn't clean up too great, but this one was also really rough. All of the wheels do spin. Um... There seems to be always one wheel that's a little bit questionable, but this one, all right. This may just need a little bit more uh, grease and love, but kept most of the paint for the most part. Looks really, really good. So not bad. All I can say is this is a vapor rust stuff. This is fantastic, especially if you're trying to get um, grease off. Now I got to find two screws that were pretty rusted. Um, let's see how well you guys can see these. These came out beautifully. These were pretty rusted originally, so I said, you know what, we'll throw it in just to try it. Worked amazing. And as you can tell, the water is disgusting, but we've also done three frames today, which is not bad at all. Sorry about the notification, but not bad at all. Water's starting to turn a little bit black, so this we're gonna go dump. It says it's safe to dump down the drain, but I would prefer just to dump it, dump it straight into the sewer. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna dump it out, and then we'll see what happens for the next part. So remember, a vapor rust. If you get uh, buy freight cars cheap, get some vapor rust. Let the frames soak. It does miracles. I was not expecting these frames to be this salvageable because this rot, this lot of trains was extremely rough. So we'll have to see what happens. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. That's my little tips and tricks for you for today. Have a good one.